Reports are coming in of an incident here in the northeast. A monastery has been raided, monks have been thrown into the sea, and a number of women claim to have been sexually assaulted. At present, the motive is unclear. Witnesses say the attackers were male and of European appearance. You what? European? Could you narrow it down a bit for us? Uh, European is the only description we have at present. But everyone I've spoken to says these blokes were fair-haired, blue-eyed, six-foot-tall bastards with braids in their beards who came over here on a ship with a f***ing dragon's head on the front. So? So? They're f***ing Norse Vikings! Not necessarily. Oh, f*** off. They're not f***ing... Portuguese, are they? They might be. Oh, now you're just being a d- Look, there's absolutely no need for that kind of coarse language. I'm talking fucking Anglo-Saxon, aren't I? That may be so, but I don't think it's helpful to make any assumptions about the nationality or religious affiliations of the perpetrators of this attack at this stage. This just in... It appears that the perpetrators of this savage raid identify as Norse Vikings. Told you so. So, without further ado, let's turn our attention now to the real victims of this attack. The innocent Viking migrants who are now facing the inevitable Norsophobic backlash. Hi. Hello. Thank you so much for joining me here at what must be a very challenging time for you. Yes, it's been very difficult. Could you share your experience of how this attack has affected you? Well, like, when I heard about this attack this afternoon, yeah, my first thought was... I'm just not going to feel safe like stepping off of my longship anymore because people are going to start looking at me funny and they're going to start saying things about me like, you know, why have you got all those braids in your beard and we don't want your sort round here and why don't you just go back home and all that. But I mean, I've got my culture and, and you've got your culture and I just think the worst thing about this whole attack, yeah, is that... I don't feel welcome here. I am so sorry to hear that. Oh, I've just heard that His Majesty the King is now making his way to the Royal Balcony, where he is expected to issue a royal statement to the Kingdom of Northumbria at this particularly difficult time. Ahem. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. Get on with it. Uh... Our thoughts and prayers are with the victims' families. Thank you. And? And what? And what are you going to do about it? Well, uh, I am going to, uh, unequivocally condemn this kind of thing. What does that even mean? Have you spoken to the Royal Secretary of Defence to discuss our military options? I might have. And? Well, what we've decided to do, militarily, is we're going to light a candle and have a minute's silence, and then we're going to carry on as normal. What the f*** are you on about? Um, there is no need to be alarmed. Why can't we just have a travel ban on Vikings entering this kingdom until we can find out what the f*** is going on? Um, this kind of thing is just part and parcel of living in a little village. (laughs) 